Hey everybody, Davini here. It's been a while since I checked in with you all, so I thought I would give you an update. I am uh, living in San Luis Obispo County in California, as most of you know. Uh, it's a real beautiful place, I do like it here. Uh, I came here to be closer to my father, who's suffering terribly from dementia. Um, it's good to be around my dad. Uh, it's painful. Um, it's always been kind of painful for me to be around my dad because he's never really taken the interest uh, in a son that a normal father would, would do, you know. Uh, but it's even worse now because of the dementia. Uh, he's just uh, pretty much, you know, impossible to reason with. Um, and he wants to believe there's nothing wrong with him, even though I think deep down inside, you know, he has those moments of clarity when he realizes that something's wrong. Uh, in fact, that's why I'm here. He called me. Uh, when I was in New Mexico to tell me uh, that he had dementia and that he thought he needed my help. Um, and he did. Uh, he got ripped off for a lot of money. Uh, and just there was kind of a feeding frenzy uh, when his the dementia started to come on. A lot of... Uh, people surrounding him uh, were really kind of uh, on the tape, so to speak, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, specifically, uh, he's really vulnerable to younger females, uh, and by younger females, I mean pretty much anybody who's younger than him by at least 10 or 20 years. Um, and that's been, you know, the real uh, Achilles heel, so to speak, his weak spot uh, that has caused him all of his problems. Uh, I have been able to, you know, more or less, uh, uh, certainly to reduce the... Uh, conversion that was going on with his paintings and the uh, outright, you know, uh, financial fraud that was being perpetrated against him. But, um, you know, there's still others who would try to um, usurp my power and uh, get their hands on his paintings uh, or finances. Uh, which his finances are pretty much gone now. It's just uh, he has a lot of beautiful paintings left to sell. And that's exactly what I intend to do, is sell his paintings um, in order to help, you know, to, to maintain, help him maintain whatever quality of life he's, he's able to enjoy at this point for as long as possible meaning to keep him in his house, keep him in his double-wide um, trailer and uh, home. And uh, that's it, essentially. Keep a roof over his head, keep his bills paid. Uh, prevent him from losing his studio, uh, his art studio, which he would lose if, you know, um, the state stepped in or something like that. They would just put him in a put him in a home, and then they would liquidate all of his uh, property. So I don't want that to happen. I'm trying to preserve and protect what's left of his artwork, and uh, at the same time, preserve and protect my own inheritance because uh, you know uh, there's no reason why we should lose the studio or or the, uh, the double-wide mobile home. 
as long as uh, I can manage for his care, you know, without doing that. Now, if it comes to it, I will. I mean, if I have to sell those things, I have power of attorney now. I can do that uh, to keep him, you know, uh, uh, to give him the care he needs, you know. And he's going to need more and more care as we go along here, so... That's pretty much the situation. Um, it's sad. It's really hard for me to deal with because uh, he can be very toxic towards me, uh, which causes me a lot of stress and anxiety, and uh, I lose a lot of sleep and uh, miss a lot of meals over it because my stomach just gets turned upside down uh, dealing with that. And, and also some of the people who try to take advantage of him try to take advantage of his condition, uh, real control freaks, um, also very toxic people, kind of bullies, and uh, I don't like dealing with them, they're very difficult to deal with, so anyway, that's what's happening, uh, I hope you're, I hope things are going smoother for you all than, than they have been for me lately, um, uh, Although, um, you know, plus side, I did meet this beautiful lady that I totally fell in love with. And she makes me really happy, even though we don't get to spend as much time together as we'd like to. Um, and that's it. And uh, if it all falls apart and, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the vultures swoop in and I can't do anything about it, then... I'm going to go live under the bridge after this, but uh, I'm hoping uh, I'll wind up uh, with a safe place to live and um, at, at the very least, and because uh, it's not going to be long for me either. Uh, I, I expect I've only got another good 10 or 20 years left in me. My health is failing. So um, that's what's happening with Davidy love to hear what's happening with you all, uh, especially if you could post a video or something, talk to me, tell me what's happening, tell me uh, how you're doing, give me your life story on video, I would love it. I miss you all, I wish we could spend more time together, I miss those days where we used to get to hang around the fire and drink beer and get stoned and just have a good time. But we're all grown up now. we all got responsibilities. And this is like the age of the internet, man. All, all we can do is communicate through electronic devices and stuff. So this is me communicating to you. Just wanted to tell you I love you. Talk to you soon, all. Bye-bye.